Hey everyone, it's the Holy Vacation bringing you Minecraft. And it's kind of windy outside, so you might hear a faint, gentle breeze of trees smacking against something. Yeah. Just building up, making some armor so that I won't get pwned like I did last time. And it's pretty much off back into the cave of darkness right after I make some supplies because I don't have any torches that, that'll be enough I think 64 yeah we need that main things I'll need are these okay off to advent Nope, not yet. Need to make a new pickaxe. This one's about to break. Okay, off to Edvin. Not yet. Edvin. No. Okay, yeah. For real. For real this time. Adventure. Whee! 360. Oh. Okay. Today we're exploring this cave. This entrance, I should say. On my quest for diamond. Since I have no idea as to where it may be. It might be on the roof, it might be on the floor, it might be in the walls. So, truthfully, I have zero idea where it's gonna be at. It or it or it gonna be at? Oh, I just lost 20 intelligent points, 20 IQ points. Oh, dungeon. Zombie. Oh, oh. What? You wanna scare me? What? What punk? What? That's what I thought. Punky. Scare me. More saddles, which have zero use. Some bread. That that's useful. Uh, is there any diamond? Nope. Well, I'll take this chest anyway, so I can use it for ch chestly things. And I will continue exploring. Well, I don't think there's going to be any more zombies spawning now, but still. Hmm. I need to find, I just want to find diamond. Get this map pretty much over with. Because the automatic cactus farm, easy. Just pour some cactus, pour some cactus, pour some water on the cactuses, and boom, done. Finished. Oh boy. You know, I have to admit, I started to become slightly addicted to these um, survival maps because they're they're really fun. The only reason I don't like this one so much is because it was pretty much, it has some of the same objectives as the last one I just played. But it's not really it's not at all its fault. It's the guy who made the last map's fault because he made it based on this map and he took some of the objectives from this map. Though it's not entirely his fault. I mean it was his I think it was his first one, so totally understandable. I, no hate, no hate. Still he could have put in more of his own. He did put in his own ideas, which I like. I love when people put in their own ideas, put in their own opinions and words. That's kind of why I'm doing this, because I'm putting out my own opinion. And I'm not trying to make it like the dominant opinion in the world to where what I say is right. No, no. For me, it's just like, this is what I think about stuff, and hey, you should check this out or check that out. That's kind of why I talk about games, because there are so many games out there, and I feel that some places or people 
don't really give you all too much of an idea of what's a good game or what's some kind of out there games that are good because most of the time people just <clears throat> give you the really well-known companies, the well-known games, the all those things that like already have so much publicity and they're just giving it even more. But yet again, my opinion. You guys can say I'm wrong, you can say I'm right, you can say I'm awesome, you can say I'm not awesome, but we all know you're lying. I really have no idea. Is there supposed to be a diamond mine or something here? Because I'm confused. I don't see anything, I mean... Oh, completely different caves area thing. I think there might... Oh, wait. Lava, lava. Always something good when there's lava. Uh, buckets? No, I got rid of those. Dang it. Uh, just gotta put these here so I can keep the light but not get hurt. Actually, I'm gonna cut this down. Cut. Mine it out so it won't affect me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Get, get back! Stop touching me! No touch. No touch. Well, I guess I was wrong about zombies spawning, even though I took out the spawner. Or did he switch it up to where you have to destroy the spawner to stop the spawning? Oh, well. Light this up as far as I can. And, okay. Now I'm going to go... Wow, oh, it's really windy. Not like it's a typhoon or anything, but... It's annoying. It's a nuisance. <coughs> ah. Wow. Oh, I got the lungs of a pro athlete. As you can tell, video games really just so much exercise up in here. And again, I can't really say I'm not unhealthy. Like I'm I'm not the healthiest person, but I'm also not those one of those people that just sit around and do absolutely nothing. I mean, whoa, creeper. See, like that? I got exercise. Ooh, I have enough for TNT. I keep referring back to that song, but I just love it. Wow, this is a big cave and I just put down three torches because my claim my claim my game lagged oh my gosh I'm starting to get confused and tired ah and now I gotta I feel a sneeze I feel a sneeze arising don't want anything to spawn here or here so boom uh, I'm trying to remember of a game I wanted to talk about. What was it? Played it about a year ago. Spiral Knights. And no, I, I'm. That's not the game I was originally thinking of, but it is a game I want to kind of talk about. It's um, one of those free-to-play games on Steam, which, just by it being free, it's a game that's totally worth. <coughs> oh my gosh! I, I just felt my abs just get a workout like from that. Oh, wow. Mm. But yeah, Spiral Knights. It's a it's you can pl it's a single player, but you can also play it multiplayer game. And you know, it's I didn't play it all too much. I played like maybe ten minutes of it, ten to twenty minutes. 
mainly because I wanted to get back to like playing games that I'm more used to, like. Because I also had new games for my PS3, like Demon Souls at the time, I think it was. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, it, I do like it because it has, I haven't played many third person kind of games. But it's also kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's creative, I like it. I, it's hard to explain for me because I didn't play it all that much.